Hello everyone, this is iLearnDad. Today I'm going to review two contenders for the best laptop screen light. The first contender is BenQ Screen Bar Light. This retails for $100. It comes with a claim of being the true laptop lamp. The descriptions on the back is in two languages, including English. It comes very well packaged and sealed with a clear cellophane wrap. The next contender is Global Link LED Screen Lamp for Laptop. This retails for $30 and can be purchased off Amazon. In fact, the BenQ can also be purchased from Amazon. The packaging this time is less premium, but functional still. And importantly, very easy to open. Inside the box, you have the lamp, which is also contained in a soft pouch. You also have a customer service leaflet, which I've never used in the past, and also an instruction manual. The soft pouch will protect against scratches only and the lamp itself is very lightweight as the body is predominantly built of plastic although being nice soft touch plastic you can clearly see the leds and the clamp itself feels rigid within the clamp is soft rubber which is held into place with adhesive the slightly annoying thing is that the adhesive is visible which gives a perception of low quality The cable is very thin and to me feels cheap. It comes with an inline remote control. A very basic USB-A is the power input, which for me is very disappointing as in this day and age, USB-C is the way to go. Clamping onto the screen is very straightforward. And as you can see, it holds on pretty well. Now let's see how well it illuminates. To give it a fair test, I will switch off some of my other desk lighting. Although the inline control looks very basic, it does however provide good feel, feedback and responsiveness, as you will witness me going through some of the colour temperatures. Adjusting the brightness is very straightforward, however you can't press and hold, so you need to press the button multiple times to take it to the upper end of the range, which for me is a trick missed by the developers. For me the biggest concern is on whether the lamp bar or clamp ends up blocking the laptop camera's field of view, which would be a pain considering the number of online meetings I must attend. However, I will test this at the end of the video. The range or the angle the lamp rotates is very good. The PC I'm testing this device on is a 13 inch Lenovo ThinkPad. And now is a good time to let you know that I will also test this device on an Apple MacBook Pro at the end of the video. Now let's move on to the BenQ screen bar light. The packaging is relatively premium. Taking the cardboard sleeve off is relatively simple, which leaves us with a hard plastic case which is opaque. There is some branding on the top saying BenQ Screen Bar Light. Upon opening you are presented with the lamp. And after removal of the lamp you are presented with a leaflet which is not written in English. The lamp itself looks very nice, looks premium, looks like they use very good materials, strong materials, shiny materials and materials that um, do not look cheap. I particularly like the metallized part of the clamp that has BenQ written on it. With that of course comes the weight which will be considerably higher versus the cheaper alternative. And that may not matter but it really depends on the strength of the hinges of your laptop. Now taking off the protective film you can see how nice that control panel looks. The cable itself feels premium, it's thick, it's rubberized. And again, the downside is the USB-A power input. Again, would much prefer a USB-C input as it would be more compatible with more modern devices. The control panel looks like it's glass, it's shiny, looks nice. The LEDs are hidden away nicely so that they don't cause a nuisance to your eyes. The clamp has protective rubber inside and this time you can't see any adhesive sticking away so it looks like um, good workmanship there. The lamp has a good range of movement and the hinge feels like it's good quality. 
clamping the lamp onto the laptop screen is very straightforward and I like that the cable is not too long which helps manage clutter. The control panel is touch sensitive. Controlling the brightness is easy with single taps. The lamp feels pretty stable when whilst clamped on and rotating. Switching the lamp on and off is pretty straightforward. Switching between brightness and colour temperature is easy. Adjusting the colour temperature with single taps is straightforward. And also adjusting the settings via press and hold is a nice feature. Adjusting the angle of the lamp changes the spread of light, which you can use to illuminate your whole workspace. And a great feature is this auto dimming button which adjusts based on the ambient lighting. Now let's take a closer look of the lamp whilst clamped on. You will notice some gaps between some of the panels which isn't a great quality feature. However the spread of lighting looks very consistent. Declamping the lamp is easy. Now let's take a closer inspection of the clamp. The clamp looks like it can accommodate a wide variety of thicknesses of laptop screens. However, with that can also come an issue which you will see later with the MacBook Pro screen which is quite thin. The clamp's ability to grip onto thinner laptop screens inadvertently compromises its position in relation to the laptop camera, consequently blocking its field of view. A touch sensitive screen can end up looking quite dirty due to the fingerprint smudges. And now as promised let's try these lamps out on the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch. I'm going to start with the cheaper lamp which is the Global Link lamp. And as you can see the screen clamping process is pretty straightforward. And you can rotate the light angle smoothly. What I like about this device is that it's smaller than the BenQ and therefore it's less visually and aesthetically obtrusive. The glare on the screen isn't too bad. Now what you will see here is quite a lot of fiddling to prevent the clamp from blocking the camera. Now you see to do that I need to flip the lamp backwards but every time I release it it flips back and blocks the camera again. I think it illuminates the desk very well but again it's cumbersome to change the settings because you need to continually click the buttons as there's no press and hold feature to change the settings. And here's another demonstration of what it looks like when you change the color temperature. Removing the lamp is nice and easy. Now I'm going to fit the BenQ onto the Apple MacBook Pro. I like the shape of the BenQ lamp, it's a nice triangular design. However, it's a slightly bigger lamp versus the Global Link lamp. It's fiddly to try to position the lamp without blocking the camera. You can rotate the lamp all the way downwards, which is good because then you can avoid getting glare. But by doing that, you'll definitely block the camera and also you will block a few millimeters of the top of the screen. Even when the lamp is rotated to the top position, you will still have to adjust the angle of your screen so that you can see the top of the screen and also and have your best chance of um, not blocking the camera. Design wise the BenQ lamp looks quite fitting with the Apple design although it does look slightly on the bulky side and as you can see the clamp doesn't grip the screen perfectly well. When you try to rotate the lamp by holding it on one end you'll notice that the whole thing moves. Another demonstration of the auto brightness functionality and also how to set the memory. auto brightness functionality again and now retrieving the memory setting and this time changing the color temperature here's me resetting the memory and again auto brightness functionality and again back to memorize setting Here you will see that the BenQ screen bar covers at least a third of the camera field of view. And here you will see that the global link lamp covers also at least a third of the camera's field of view, probably slightly more.
So to conclude matters, which one do I think is the best screen lamp for laptops today? I think the BenQ screen lamp has lots of premium features. It feels good, it looks good. You can buy straight away from Amazon and it costs $100. The Global Link screen lamp is, is lightweight, it's small, looks the part on smaller laptops. You can buy straight away off Amazon and it costs $30. So which one's the best? I think it's the BenQ screen bar. Now which one would I buy? Well I wouldn't buy the BenQ because for that price and the imperfections I just don't think it'll give me the value. Therefore I'd buy the Global Link lamp. That brings us to the end of the review. Thanks for listening. If you like, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and leave a comment.